We perform the technique in this way, whereas in other Aikido styles it is generally done like this. This is the kaitenage you generally see performed, but that way is not effective as a martial art. If we execute kaitenage like that, we will be stopped at this point. Therefore, we enter like this. As a result, the opponent cannot extend his hand. We use the ken to explain how the principle of the sword applies in Aikido. The purpose of this sword of Aikido is not to kill, but to show proper conduct. This is the sword of Aikido. When in front of the opponent, we draw the sword and strike his feet. This is how it is used. This is the movement of drawing the sword. Then we have the throw we just did. This is the movement. You draw the sword. It's just the same as the sword movement. We just did this movement. And you also have this variation. Although this is called a kime or joint lock, it is really an atemi, a strike. If you apply pressure, it becomes a joint lock. We showed our Kurawaza Ikkyo technique. This is the way we perform Gura, but Aikidoka usually do it this way. This is very dangerous. We must have already entered at that stage. We have to grab him here. As you move your body half a step, we are in front of our opponent. From here he cannot punch from the other side, nor can he kick. I can attack him freely. You must enter this way. We must move at an earlier stage. We must be ready to throw him at any time. 